Good Wednesday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside that beautiful weather window on this third day of June. And felt like an early June day today, didn't it? A little bit of a breeze out there. Not bad, though, in this beautiful shot looking down at the Wenatchee Valley from our Omi Gardens Sky Fi Tower camera. And you can see a few wind whip cirrus clouds out there, but that's about it. A lot of beautiful blue sky and nice mild temperatures. We have the same in store for us as we move into Thursday. It looks very nice as well with lots of sunshine and high temperatures in the 70s, much like today. But as we get into this weekend, things begin to change late Friday around 11 p.m. or so on Friday. We'll see maybe a sprinkle or two. It should be nice during the day Friday and then kind of turn south on Saturday and Sunday. We won't be as cold as 60s and mid 50s to 60s as you see on that graphic, but we will be cooling down with a good chance for showers. And we'll talk more about that coming up a little bit later on. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. As local counties try to hit state milestones on the way to reopening, a new online dashboard can help you track their progress. Prosecutors have charged a sixth person in the chaotic campground robbery near Banks Lake last September. And you feel like camping this weekend? Grant County PUD reopened its campgrounds and many of its day use sites on Monday. But first we begin tonight, a Chelan County judge won't send a lawsuit challenging Governor Jay Inslee's executive orders to be heard in Thurston County, at least not yet. Judge Kristen Ferreira ruled today that the case brought by 46 local plaintiffs seeking to overturn the governor's public health orders on coronavirus needs to be heard in Chelan County because the orders affect Chelan County differently than other counties in the state. But she made no ruling on whether to grant the plaintiff's motion to block the emergency proclamations, which were put in place March 23rd, and bar certain businesses and gathering places from operation, including restaurants, bars, and indoor church services. Another hearing on the case has yet to be scheduled. Well, as local counties try to hit state milestones on the way to reopening, a new online dashboard can help you track their progress. Key metrics, including coronavirus infection rates, testing scores, and the availability of hospital services are all factored in. Under Safe Start Washington, counties must show improvement in those areas to move through the four phases of reopening. The state says some of the data shown lags a little behind what's collected by local health departments. Take a look for yourself at coronavirus.wa.gov. Well, prosecutors have charged a sixth person in the chaotic campground robbery near Banks Lake last September. Witnesses say Veronica Joanne Nanez, age 21 of Yakima, was driving the white Buick that struck one man and robbed a parked car during the September 27th robbery. Already jailed and awaiting trial are Kai Shelton and Becca Rosenberg, who allegedly had their four children along in a minivan while they stole two generators from a campsite. Prosecutors in Douglas County charged Nanez on Tuesday with second-degree assault, robbery, theft, and hit-and-run. Shelton and Rosenberg face similar charges plus multiple counts of child endangerment. Well, Grant County PUD reopened its campgrounds and many of its day-use sites on Monday. The PUD said many of the amenities at its sites have been modified to meet with federal and county health department COVID-19 guidelines. The PUD shut down all of its boat launches and recreational sites on March 27th after the state closed its parks and lands in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The boat launches and most of the recreational sites were reopened on May 8th. The Monday openings included the golf course and beach at Crescent Bar, as well as restrooms and picnic areas. Well, coming up next, the Chelan County Sheriff's Office says K-9 Officer Rubin has been diagnosed with cancer and the department is asking the community for help. The end of watch ride to remember was in Ellensburg this week to pay tribute to Kittitas County Deputy Ryan Thompson and the City of Chelan's weekly face mask contacts has proven a fun way to cope with coronavirus. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. You love to help others. You need a solid career. You can have it all with help from Charter College. 
Our 10-month medical assistant program prepares you to work in healthcare settings like physician offices, rehab centers, and clinics. You'll learn to take patient vitals, assist with exams, administer injections, and maintain medical records. When you're ready to launch a rewarding healthcare career, visit chartercollege.edu because we work to get you to work. It's estimated that one third of Americans do not have a financial plan. At DA Davidson, their advisors are working to change that because they understand the importance of planning for the future. At DA Davidson, they believe in partnering together to build a strategy tailored to your needs. They spend the time and have the knowledge to help keep your financial future on track. Let DA Davidson Financial Advisors of Wenatchee put the strength of advice to work for you. Buick and GMC are here to help, to keep you going through these unprecedented times. If you need a vehicle, we're offering 0% financing for up to 84 months. Plus, you may have the option to shop online and take delivery at home with Shop, Click, Drive. If you need service, our certified technicians are ready to help. You can even schedule your appointment online. Together, we'll get through these uncertain times. Buick and GMC, we're here to help. Welcome back. In another news, the Chelan County Sheriff's Office says canine officer Ruben has been diagnosed with cancer and the department is asking the community for help paying for his surgery and future treatments. Ruben is a narcotics detection dog who joined the force in 2016. The Sheriff's Office said Ruben needs surgery to remove a tumor on his right rear leg so the cancer won't spread. The Sheriff's Office canine program is funded primarily through donations. Donations can be dropped off or mailed to the Chelan County Sheriff's Office. That address is 401 Washington Street, Suite No. 1, Wenatchee, Washington 98801. Reuben, who was named for a longtime undersheriff with the department, remains on duty while awaiting that surgery. Well, the end of Watch Ride to Remember was in Ellensburg this week to pay tribute to Kittitas County Deputy Ryan Thompson, who was killed in the line of duty on March 19, 2019. The end of Watch Ride cross-country motorcycle ride began Monday in Spokane and will be stopping at each department where a law enforcement officer was killed in the line of duty in 2019. A truck and trailer displays the pictures and names of 146 officers killed last year. Kittitas County Sheriff Clay Myers and several deputies stopped by the, to thank the organization. 42-year-old Thompson was responding to a road rage incident that night, which led to a pursuit into the town of Kittitas. There, 29-year-old Juan Manuel Flores del Toro jumped out of his vehicle and began firing a gun, killing Thompson and injuring Kittitas police officer Benito Chavez. Del Toro was killed in that shootout. Thompson left behind his pregnant wife, and four children. Well, the City of Chelan's weekly face mask contest has proven a way, fun way to cope with coronavirus. Each week, the city announces a theme and residents of the city run with it. This week's theme was pets. Winners receive gift cards and certificates to spend at local businesses. The city's next week's theme is professional sports teams. If you live in Chelan, get your entry complete and send a photo of it to the city by email or on Facebook. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Please stay with us. Coming home should never be a chore. Let Mary Maids of Wenatchee customize all your cleaning needs. Weekly, bi-weekly, special occasion. Do you have a vacation home that needs cleaning? We clean them too. Locally owned and operated, let Mary Maids do the cleaning while you focus on your family and friends. Mary Maids has special offers to fit your budget. Request your free cleaning estimate today. 509-663-1710. AC Checker has new owners who put customer service first. When you have to get there on time, call fast, friendly, reliable AC Checker, 663-TAXI. AC Checker has the industry's only on-time or it's free guarantee. Conditions apply. Call AC Checker, 663-TAXI to schedule your cab or schedule online at acchecker.com. 
Call American Classic Taxi, 663-TAXI. That's 663-8294. I'm Tom from Alpine Air Heating and Cooling. At Alpine Air, we think of ourselves as customer service oriented retailers. When you make an appointment, please visit our store, meet our people, see our shop. We are serious about heating and air conditioning. Carrier and Alpine Air are offering huge factory rebates and financing options for all your needs. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Call for your free replacement estimate. Heat and Air, call Alpine Air, 662-6846. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. In tonight's feature story, it may be a less than ideal time to be graduating from high school, to put it mildly, but how many graduating classes can say they got a personal message from actor Rain Wilson, who's also known as Dwight Schrute from the TV show The Office. Wilson's father, artist Robert Wilson, lives in East Wenatchee. Greetings, Panthers of Wenatchee, Washington. Uh, this is Rain Wilson speaking to you, AKA the actor formerly known as Dwight Schrute, uh, in disguise in my beard, and please forgive my hat. I haven't had my hair cut in, in about three and a half months, and it's getting embarrassing up under there. Happy graduation, you guys. I can't believe it. You made it. You graduated during some of the darkest days in the history of our country. What terrible times it is to be graduating, and my heart goes out to you. It must be incredibly difficult. Um, we have a global pandemic. We have the other global pandemic of, of racism, uh, civil unrest, um, a lot of anger and hurt feelings, a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, and you are being birthed into this environment into this world and the only thing I would ask is that you use your terrific educations that you got from Wenatchee High School to try and make the world a better place. We cannot no longer simply seek uh, our own personal comfort. Uh, it's time as a species on this planet that we rise up and try and make the world better in any way that we possibly can. For some it'll be in small ways and some it'll be larger. It doesn't really matter as long as your focus is bringing love to the equation, bringing people together and being of service. So put those great educations to use. I'm sorry it's such sad times that you're graduating into, but perhaps this will lend your lives an even greater focus toward what your life's purpose and mission might be. Sending you much love from Shroot Farms. This has been Rain Wilson. Thanks so much and happy graduation. All right, time now to take a check of that North Central Washington weather forecast. And before we get into those details, outside we go, the weather window, and what a beautiful shot of the Wenatchee Valley. They're all beautiful, aren't they? This one looking down from Omi Gardens, and you can see just a few high, wispy clouds out there today. Lots of blue sky, too, a little bit of a breeze. It's not as bad as we've seen, but still that pesky breeze that's going to be around with us for a few more days, but still an awfully nice day. Unofficially, temperatures around the uh, Wenatchee area at Pangborn Airport, 77 degrees. That's just a click above where we should be for this time of year at 76. That may go up a degree or two late late this afternoon. 53 is where we started the day, and that's right where we should be for this time of year. 98, our record high in 1970, and record low, 38. That was set back in 1976. We're still at 2.50, two and a half inches of moisture for the year so far, and that's about an inch and a quarter behind where we should be as far as moisture goes. Sunrise this morning, 5.07 and sunset. Yeah, we're creeping up to 9 p.m. Tonight will be at 8.52. Let's take a look at how your Thursday weather shapes up. And it's going to be a lot like today. Maybe, maybe just a little bit warmer for Thursday, but a lot. Uh, the other conditions like today, we will see once again for tomorrow. 81 for Moses Lake, 80 in Afreda, 79 for Quincy, upper 70s. Wenatchee, Eniach, Chelan, also Omac. Beautiful in the upper elevations, mid-70s for 
for both Lake Wenatchee and for Leavenworth. As we take a look at that surface loop going into tonight, partly cloudy skies. It will remain breezy right here in the central part of Washington. We're talking breezes tonight about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Gusty at times. Those winds should die down after midnight or so. And then as we get into our Thursday forecast, I just mentioned it. It's going to be a beautiful one with temperatures in the upper 70s. The central and eastern half of Washington will see clear skies. Some partly cloudy skies in the west. A wind northwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour. But there you go with temperatures approaching 80 for most of central and eastern Washington on Thursday. As we get into the end of the weekend on end of the week on Friday, mostly cloudy skies. We will see light winds, showers to our west and also some showers back over in the east. We'll be kind of stuck in the middle of that, but still it won't be a bad day with temperatures in the 70s. And then things begin to change on us on Saturday. Mostly cloudy, a 40% chance of showers and cooler. Here's the area of low pressure in Montana that's going to bring some of that moisture back into Washington. Mainly what we'll see, what we saw last weekend, and that's a lot of wind, especially on Sunday. We could see winds of 25 to 30 miles an hour. We will see a 30% chance of rain, but boy, with it being so windy, I don't see a lot of moisture happening on Sunday. Could see a stray Monday morning shower as we get into our next work week, and then things will turn partly cloudy in the afternoon. Temperatures, though, will stay kind of on the cool side. We will drop down upper 60s to around 70, and keep in mind now, that's about 6 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. And then Tuesday, more of the same. Partly cloudy, dry, and we will stay cooler than normal. Let's take a look at your Patriot Plumbing, Heating and Cooling seven day forecast tonight. 54 degrees, so a mild one. 78 tomorrow with a low of 55. A little bit breezy tomorrow, but I still think it's going to be a nice day. Mostly cloudy, mild on Friday, and here's where our weather begins to change. Cooler and wetter as we get into the weekend. A 40% chance of rain on Saturday and 73. Look at that. 69 is all for a high temperature on Sunday with a chance for rain and once again, breezy conditions. Conditions. A morning shower on Monday and then partly cloudy skies and 70 degrees. And as we get into Tuesday, then mostly sunny and dry with temperatures still below normal with a high then of 72. And that's a look at your local weather forecast coming up next tonight. Sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. Owner Andrew Vickery brings years of experience to help you transition your backyard into a place where memories are made, family time is looked forward to, and friends are always welcome. Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa offers many different styles and sizes of artesian spas, both new and used, as well as residential and commercial pool and spa services, regular maintenance and repairs, and all the chemicals required to keep your pool and spa crystal clear. Stop on by Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa today. Aging and Adult Care offers many in-home care options and services for seniors and family caregivers. But did you know they also offer free in-home delivered meals? Aging and Adult Care has expanded its program for home delivered meals to help elderly and vulnerable adults at this challenging time. If you are in need of prepared meals or know someone who could benefit, call Aging and Adult Care for more information about free home delivered meals. Call 509-886-0700. So Pam, how's your mom doing? She's okay. She's struggling. She'd like to stay in her house and it's getting harder for her to do the daily chores. What kinds of problems is she having? Just basic house cleaning, you know, uh, taking care of her house, yard work, taking care of her medicine. Mm -hmm. It does sound exhausting. It is very exhausting and I always worry about her. Aging and adult care can assist you or your loved one to remain comfortably and safely in their own home. Contact them today to start the conversation. This is Caitlin Hedersheet, the producer of the NCW Life magazine. Each week, I'm bringing you a look behind the scenes of the faces, places, and events that make North Central Washington the place we call home. Tune in every weekday for an in-depth look at a new topic each week. From local artists in their studios to businesses breaking barriers that might surprise you and everything in between. Join me on the NCW Life magazine right here on the NCW Life channel. And now it's a sports update on the NCW Life channel. 
And a happy Wednesday to you, staying home and staying healthy. Eric Grandstrom on the NCW Live Channel. Yet another schedule event has gone along the wayside due to the coronavirus pandemic. What Anche Valley's Super Oval announcing yesterday that the IBEW NECA Big Rig Night, originally scheduled for June 13th, has been postponed due to the COVID-19 regulations and the Canadian border being closed. The majority of the big rig teams residing in Canada can't make it here. WVSO manager Jeremy Andrews says they're working with the North American big rigs on a date for late August or September for a makeup race. In the meantime, tonight's another practice night up at the Super Oval. Anders expecting another good turnout with the practice scheduled to extend until 9 o'clock tonight. Cost $125 per car with teams limited to five people. Anders says uh, concessions also going to be open tonight for folks who are turning out for the practice. Well, Colby Parkinson has become the first of Seattle's eight draft picks to sign his rookie contract. Uh, the tight end out of Stanford was a third-round pick for the uh, Seahawks. ESPN NFL insider Field Yates was the first to report Parkinson's signing. Rookie contracts are typically for four years, but details of this signing not available. Parkinson joins a crowded tight end room with the Seahawks, which also features Greg Olson, Will Disley, Jacob Hollister, Luke Wilson, and fellow 2020 draft pick Stephen Sullivan. Well, the pressure to perform for a first-round draft pick is immense. Seattle's L.J. Collier spent most of his first season with the Seahawks hampered by injuries. While Collier is eager to prove his worth in his second campaign, eight-year pro Bobby Wagner is telling him not to worry about the pressure. Don't let the pressures of being a first-round pick um, weigh on you and make this game not fun. You know, there's a lot of pressure on, you know, people when they come in, especially as a first-round pick, you are supposed to, um, you are supposed to perform at a certain level because they rated you a certain way. And that's not the case. Everybody learns differently. Everybody grows differently. Everybody experiences things differently. And so, um, honestly, I've just been trying to give him my support and, and, and know he's working hard and know he's, uh, you know, I think he's very, very passionate about, uh, you know, being out there on the field and really making an impact. And, you know, I want to do everything I can in my power to help him do that. Um, you know, I understand maybe um, the first year didn't go as well as everybody would think, but it's kind of like, all right, forget what they say. You know, you got to prove it to yourself and, and you know, play like you know you're capable of playing. All of that will be taken care of. Wagner says where your pick doesn't matter. He says what matters is a person's ability to utilize their talent to its fullest and put pressure on the opponent to stop you. Well, in a move that won't impact the Seahawks, the NFL has told its team's training camps will be held at their home facilities. Seattle has been hosting its training camp at the Virginia Mason Athletic Center in Renton since it moved there in 2009. Ten teams who hold training camps off-site will have to make other plans, including Dallas, Pittsburgh, Kansas City, and Buffalo. The league felt keeping teams at their facilities would limit exposure to COVID-19. Now, Dallas usually trains in Oxnard, California, and the Steelers in nearby Latrobe, Pennsylvania. The Raiders are in the middle of moving to Las Vegas. They typically train in Napa, California, but could choose to move to their new facility in Henderson, Nevada. An extremely shortened Major League Baseball draft begins today. What is normally a 40-round marathon is now a five-round sprint. The Mariners have the sixth overall pick in today's first round. They will also be what's called a competitive balance round eight today with rounds two through five taking place tomorrow. Seattle will have a total of six picks in this draft, gaining an extra in the trade for Omar Narvaez to the Brewers last year. It'll be a competitive balance round B selection that will follow tomorrow's second round. Now, don't be surprised if the Mariners uh, select a college pitcher with their first pick today. That has been the usual uh, route for the director of amateur scouting Scott Hunter now in his fourth draft with the Mariners. Like the NFL, Major League Baseball's draft will be done virtually via video conference. Just a reminder to tune in tomorrow at 7 for the Wenatchee Booster Club's signing night. 
The broadcast will feature video messages from 20 Wenatchee High School seniors who are continuing their athletic and educational pursuits at the next level. It's a signing night special tomorrow night at 7 here on the NCW Life Channel. And for you hockey fans, don't worry. We will have hockey tomorrow night at 8 featuring the Wenatchee Wild and Wellington Dukes from the RBC Cup back in May of 2018. That's a look at sports news. I'm Eric Granstrom. Grant, back to you. Thank you very much, Eric. And as we leave you tonight, a Washington State Department of Transportation camera at its freeway wildlife crossing on Snoqualmie Pass, I'm sure you've seen it, captured an encounter this week between some deer, their fawns, a couple of elk, and a curious coyote who eventually decided he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. with elk that's for sure and Uriah great job on the music if you have a video of the day that you'd like to see right here on the NCW Life Evening News you can message us on our Facebook page at the NCW Life channel now let's check in with Dan Koontz for a look at what's coming up tomorrow morning on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley Dan Thank you very much, Grant. We invite you to join me tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. for this award-winning program. We'll have the latest news. We'll have the latest weather forecast. And my guest on Thursday's program will be Linda Haglin, the Executive Director of the Wenatchee Downtown Association. Going to check in with Linda, find out how our friends downtown are dealing with Phase 1 of this COVID-19 pandemic. We love local businesses. We want to keep them hopping. We'll check in with Linda, find out how downtown is holding up. We'll do that tomorrow when we wake up on Wenatchee Valley. We'll see you tomorrow at 7 a.m. Grant? Back to you. Thank you very much, Dan. We have just enough time to give you another look at our Patriot Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling seven-day forecast. And I'll tell you what, you are good. If you like today, you're going to like tomorrow, too, because more of the same on the way. A little bit breezy, especially late in the day tomorrow and 79 degrees. Still nice uh, on Friday, too, for the most part. We'll see mostly cloudy skies. It will be mild with 77 expected. And then as we get into the weekend, our weather pattern shifts somewhat. Mostly cloudy skies as an area of low pressure moves in. 40% chance of rain on Saturday and cooler 73 for our high. We'll cool down actually into the upper 60s on Sunday. It will be breezy Sunday, downright windy at times, a 30% chance of rain in 69. For Monday, more rain, especially in the morning with partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. High temperature Monday at 70. And then at the end of our forecast on Tuesday, things get nice once again, mostly sunny and dry with a high temperature then of 72 degrees. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-NCWL. That's 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. But TV advertising, what we want to do is more deeply connect with the community. People spot me in different parts around North Central, you know, Costco and Wenatchee say, hey, you're the pizza guy. And so they wouldn't know that if it weren't for the, for the TV commercials we've done. We've been here so long that people already know who we are and what we do. But to have that image flash on their television screen as opposed to just hearing in the radio or seeing in the newspaper, I just love the fact that we can actually put our finger on when a customer comes in and says, I saw your ad. It's becoming increasingly difficult in this digital age to know where are your customers listening or watching, because I watch all the different channels that they watch too, like Cooking Channel, History Channel, and so it was wonderful to be able to be on there. I would say that uh, if you wanna do business in Wenatchee, then you should connect with the people of Wenatchee, and there's no better way to do that than with NCW Life.
You love to help others. You need a solid career. You can have it all with help from Charter College. Our 10-month medical assistant program prepares you to work in healthcare settings like physician offices, rehab centers, and clinics. You'll learn to take patient vitals, assist with exams, administer injections, and maintain medical records. When you're ready to launch a rewarding healthcare career, visit chartercollege.edu because we work to get you to work. In a world afraid of technology, one man, one show will bring you the newest innovations that may just change your life. This summer, Ray McNeil and your weekly tech update is your weekly tech update with Ray McNeil.